you mentioned the bro splits. I want to latch onto that for a second. Was that your first bodybuilding routine you ever, and again, you didn't consider it bodybuilding, but was that, would you say your first routine you kind of fell upon was the bro split? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'd learned that you just, as a bodybuilder, you train le- you train less than what I expected. Because when you first get into the sport, you think these guys must train eight hours a day, all this sort of thing. But no, I learned that you train a body part once a week and you split your whole body up into those various sessions throughout the week. And that's what I did. And I would argue I've, I've manipulated it slightly. I've changed it for the better. It's more efficient now. But largely speaking, it's all the same it's all the same movements, it's the same sort of volume, it's the same split in terms of what days I do certain body parts. And there's this old saying, isn't it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it worked for me. I was getting success, so I felt no reason to change. And 15 years later, I'm still improving, so I would, I would argue that it works well for me. Awesome. So why don't you break that down for us? Would you say yep. now you've refined it to be productive for you? And what, what does that look like now? So I will start the week. I'll just, I'll just itemize it for, for the viewers because people like to know specifics. So on Monday, I'll train back. On Tuesday, I will do shoulders and triceps. Wednesday is a rest day. Thursday is legs, quads and hams together. Friday, I do chest and biceps. And then I do another shoulder workout on Saturday only because shoulders were a lagging body part for me earlier in the career so I chucked in an extra shoulder workout on Saturday and I've just kept that one in it's been the same split I've had certainly since I've been competing which has been 14 years now I'm curious for you David because you're of the elite did you have any temptations to move from natural bodybuilding to say the IFBB classic physique I would argue no I think what's interesting is that people ask me this question a lot and I think for me, when I grew up and got into bodybuilding, Instagram wasn't a thing. It didn't exist. 